is Miss Judy. I am here at Luis Wifer Junior Senior High School and welcome to Math Diaries! Today, we will teach you one of the most useful concepts of mathematics, the exponential function. An exponential function is a function of the form f of x is equal to b raised to x, wherein b is a constant called base and x is an independent variable called exponent. An equation of the form exponential function f of x is equal to b raised to x, where b is greater than 0 and b must not be equal to 1 and x is any real number. These are the representation of an exponential function through equation, table of values, and graph. First, let's have an equation. Now, how can you represent an exponential function through equation? Anyone from the class? Yes, Kim. f of x equals 2 raised to x. f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Is that correct? can be written in the form of f of x is equal to b raised to x. Now, coming from k, given exponential function is f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Another representation of an exponential function is through table of values. Now, question, how do you represent an exponential function through table of values? Yes, Moreno. Ma'am, first make a table, then set the values of x, then since x is an in independent variable, then solve for y. Very good! Okay, now, can you construct a table of values on the board? Yes, Abel, please, on the board. Constructed by Abel, let us plot the following values on the Cartesian plane. Very good! Now, can you sketch the graph on the board? Yes, Jody! function is one of the most important and useful concepts in mathematics, especially in real-life world situations. Exponential functions are used to model populations, carbon date artifacts, help coronals determine time of death, compute investments, as well as many other applications. The most common application of exponential functions are population growth, exponential decay, and compound interest. For you to have an idea about exponential function, let us have a game. Are you familiar with the game, Four Picks One Word? In this game, there were four different pictures related to the topic for today. And you are going to guess the word corresponds to this. Let's begin. First pictures. Number one. 
Very good. That is dengue. Next pictures. Great. That is bacteria. Next pictures. Excellent. That is inflation. And last pictures. Very good population! Before we proceed, I want you to know our segment objectives. At the end of the show, you must be able to first, determine the real life situation showing exponential function. You will be able to solve problems involving exponential function. And lastly, you will be able to appreciate the importance of exponential function in real life. Now, let us explore the city of General Trias where the exponential function is widely used. Exponential function can be illustrated into two formulas, exponential growth and exponential decay. Sa hospital na kagaya nito, marami ang nagpapakita na halimbawa na exponential growth and exponential decay. Exponential growth and exponential decay are exponential models where the quantity in exponential growth is increasing exponentially at a given rate, while the quantity in exponential decay is decreasing exponentially at a given rate. Sa madaling salita, kapag sinabing exponential growth, kailangan habang tumataas ang value ng independent variable ay tumataas din ang value ng dependent variable. At kapag naman sinabing exponential decay, kailangan habang tumataas ang value ng independent variable, bumababa naman ang value ng dependent variable. Halimbawa sa isang ospital. Kapag ang isang pasyente ay may dengue, habang tumatagal ang virus sa dugo niya, ang platelets ay patuloy na bumababa. Ito ay isa pa halimbawa ng exponential decay. Isa pa, kapag ang isang pasyente ay tumatagal na na-confine sa isang hospital, ang bill na babayaran nito ay tumataas din. Ito ay isang halimbawa ng exponential growth. Now, can you give an example of exponential growth and exponential decay in our daily lives? Anyone from this class, please? Yes, Ben Jahe. Mom, in exponential growth, smartphone or iPhone usage, habang tumatagal ang panahon, parami ng parami ang gumagamit at bumibili nito. Give an example! Yes, Ms. Anto! Mamiya, sa exponential decay po, yung sa internet data service, habang patuloy pong ginagamit yung internet, bumababa ng bumababa yung data allocation ng internet. Very good! Now, give another example! Yes, Kulanding! Ma'am, projector setup po is an example of exponential growth. Kapag lumalayo po nang lumalayo yung kinalalagyan ng projector, lumalaki din po nang lumalaki yung projected image na, na pinapakita nito. Very good! Give another example! Yes, Kay? Yung sa exponential decay naman po, yung volume of sounds to distance po. Habang po palayo ng palayo yung distance ng nakikinig, pahina naman po ng pahina yung sounds na naririnig nito. sa ng General Trias Cavite na kung saan makikita ang iba't ibang establishmento na nagpapakita ng isa sa mga halimbawa ng exponential function. Ang exponential growth. Katulad ng mga bangko, mga mall, mga kilalang kainan, at mga maliliit na negosyo. Pero paano nga ba makukuha ang pagtaas at pagbaba ng bilang ng isang bagay gamit ang exponential function. Narito ang ilang halimbawa ng pangyayari na nagpapakita ng exponential function. Miss Elizabeth Buenafe, a teacher entrepreneur 
takes out a loan of 150,000 in a bank. If the bank charge 7.5% interest rate compounded annually, how much will she owe after 3 years? Based on the problem, let us find the given. Where the amount of loan is 150,000 pesos, the growth rate is 7.5% since this given will be substituted to the formula. We need to convert the rate into decimal number and that will become 0.075 and then we have a term of 3 years. Since the problem is asking for the future value of the amount of loan that is increasing, therefore, we are going to use the formula for exponential growth. f of x is equal to a times the quantity of 1 plus r raised to x. Then, substitute the given to the formula, thus, f of x is equal to 150,000 times the quantity of 1 plus 0.075 raised to 3. Then let us compute. Therefore, after 3 years, Miss Buenafe will pay 186,344.53 pesos to the bank. Miss Nika Gundran bought a brand new pickup for the delivery in her franchise business worth 1,200,000 pesos. Every year, the value of this depreciates at 15% of its previous value. How much will the pickup be worth after 5 years? Based on the problem, we will find the following given. Now, since this problem is asking for the depreciated price of the brand new pickup, it means it is asking for the decreasing price. Therefore, we are going to use the formula for exponential decay. f of x is equal to a times the quantity of 1 minus r raised to x. Then now, substitute the given to the formula. Thus, f of x is equal to 1,200,000 times the quantity of 1 minus 0 0.15 raised to 5. Let's proceed to the computation. Therefore, after 5 years, the price of Miss Gundran's pickup will cost 532000 446 pesos and 38 centavos. Hi guys, this is William Dolorido. He is currently the president of Mathematics Lab in Luis Weifar Junior Senior High School. How are you? I'm fine po. How's your day? I'm okay na naman po. Uh, maulan lang naman po. Pwede ba akong magtanong? Yes po. Okay, so this is my question. What is the importance of an exponential function in our daily lives? Um, I think the importance of exponential function in our daily lives is, the, is to raise our awareness for the development of a quantity. For example, po, population po. Population sa isang barangay po. Tapos, kailangan po tumataas po yung population po sa isang barangay. Ibig sabihin po, yung barangay captain po, mag adjust po. mag adjust in the sense ng sa foods, security, safety, and supplies po. So that's the importance of exponential function for us. Thank you so much! Hi guys! Welcome pa rin sa Math Diaries! Narito naman tayo ngayon sa harap ng City Government of General Trias. Alam nyo ba na ang kabuang populasyon ng General Trias ay umabot sa 314,303 ng taong 2015. Mula ng taong 2010 hanggang 2015, ang populasyon nito ay tumaas ng 5.25% kada taon. Ito ay ayon sa datos ng philatlas.com. Ngayon, may tanong ako sa inyo. 
Kung gagamitin natin ang parehong data ng pagtaas ng populasyon ng General Trias mula taong 2010 hanggang 2015, ilan kaya ang magiging kabuo ang bilang ng populasyon nito pagdating ng taong 2025? Watching Math Diaries. See you on the next episode. God bless you all.